So some Yankees fans want to debate now because I left a little comment saying that um, Nolan Arenado is better than Alex Rodriguez. And by me saying that, Nolan Arenado at third base would be better than A-Rod could have possibly ever been for the New York Yankees. For many reasons. And this conversation is being had for the simple fact that A-Rod was busted for performance enhancing drugs not once but twice. And it could have been a third time. This is the only reason why we're having this conversation. Okay? And also because Nolan Arenado has won six straight gold gloves since he was called up to the major leagues. Since he was a rookie, he's been winning gold gloves without stopping. So right there, early in his career, Nolan Arenado has the advantage over A-Rod's only two gold gloves in his whole entire career. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that Nolan Arenado is natural. He's never been busted for PDs. He doesn't even look like he's on PDs. Never suspected of being on PDs. The only reason Nolan Arenado does not get the respect he deserves is because he plays in a small market and there's a anti-course field call that bashes players that come out of Colorado because they think they have an advantage playing in Colorado. But Nolan Arenado's numbers suggest differently. He is putting up these numbers outside of Coors Field. And his defense, yet again, when you add it to his offense, he is superior to many of the great names out there. And superior, you can make the comparisons to Alex Rodriguez when it comes to being a third baseman. Do I believe Nolan Arenado is going to continue his strong defense and strong offense for years to come? Hell yes. He shows no signs of not doing so. He has won gold gloves since he has entered the league. That's unheard of. And the scary part is about Nolan Arenado, he hasn't even reached his peak yet. He's not even in his prime yet. When a baseball player reaches his prime is around 30 years of age. 31, 29, he's only 27. So yes, Nolan Arenado is a far way superior player than Alex Rodriguez would ever be on the New York Yankees, period. Defensively, adding to his overall play, there's no comparison. No, oh, Nolan Arenado compared to Alex Rodriguez at third base, Nolan Arenado is the GOAT. The only number Alex Rodriguez beats Nolan at is maybe stolen base, speed. But other than that, Nolan Arenado... When you add his defense to his overall play, it's almost laughable. This guy's a cyborg. I can't believe Major League Baseball fans don't give this guy the respect he deserves. Defensively alone, you should be giving him respect. And it's all about course field this, course field that. Uh, sorry, you play half of these other games in other stadiums. And look at that, he's still winning gold gloves. Six seasons in a row. <laughs> oh my God. Think about that. That is crazy. You can see why the Yankees like waiting for Nolan Arenado. You can just see it. Any team would be dumb to not look at Nolan Arenado in 2020. And he's also superior to Manny Machado. Manny Machado's a great player as well. But he ain't touching Nolan Arenado. Same position. Nolan Arenado, six gold gloves. Two gold gloves. Manny Machado's RBI production. Nowhere near Arenado. Nowhere near so you can see why the Yankees would prefer going after Nolan Arenado over Manny Machado. If you would, like I said, if you would pick a player who, let's say, would replace A-Rod at third or his legacy, it would be Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado, like I said, is an RBI machine, productive, and defensively nobody is touching him. So don't give me this argument that Felix, I'm crazy because I'm comparing Nolan Arenado to Alex Rodriguez. When A-Rod deserves this criticism because he was caught on PEDs multiple times. This is the only reason why I'm having this conversation. If A-Rod was never caught, I would be calling A-Rod the GOAT. But you have to question his numbers because the guy was caught on PEDs not once but twice. Okay? And Nolan Arenado does not look like he's on PEDs. He looks natural to me. Never been suspected of PEDs. And has never been caught. And is putting up these crazy numbers. And yes, before people bash me saying Aaron was caught on PEDs, I am going to clarify that. He was found guilty by a jury, by a judge. 
So that's even worse. They have documentation, every single detail, every move, every paper, every document that found Aaron guilty of taking performance enhancing drugs and buying illegal drugs. Let's just all forget about the gummy bears. Let's all forget about that. What I'm saying is A-Rod is not touching Nolan Arenado at third base. Impossible. Nolan Arenado, in my opinion, if I had a choice to pick between A-Rod and Nolan, knowing that A-Rod got busted for PDs, I would take Nolan Arenado any day, any day without even questioning my pick. No brainer. Also, I am going to make it clear. I am not bashing Alex Rodriguez. Alex Rodriguez was an incredible baseball player. But like I said, there's baggage that comes with being busted for PEDs, period. So you should expect this sort of criticism. You should expect these kinds of comparisons to players like Nolan Arenado. So like always, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this comparison? I only said a few words and people were blowing up what I was saying. I mean, if you guys can't understand that I was comparing Nolan to A-Rod at third, that's what I was talking about. But leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from nynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I'll check you out next time.